All right guys, got an unboxing for you and this is the SH03D um, IPX5 rated Bluetooth earphones. And as you can see, the dust, uh, dust protection and moisture protection IPX5. So basically, they're sweat proof. So that's what they are anyway guys. They are um, a sports headphone basically um, and a uh, big thank you to Hello Mal for uh, sending these out for me. I hope I haven't just uh, obliterated their name but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what the name is and how it's pronounced. So let's have a quick look around it. Pretty much you know it's it, pretty much what you'd expect from Bluetooth uh, earplugs. Uh, there you go you can just see some information on the back there. Uh, so you've got like a standard USB charging port uh, Bluetooth, they're also NFC, um, which I haven't had uh, the chance to try because of course I'm on iPhone and the NFC on that is locked basically for Apple Pay, which we've still yet to get here in the UK. So anyway, you've got a nice magnetic closure on the front of the box there, and if we lift it open, you immediately see the kind of uh, sports headphone that they are. One of these where it's just a single band. Now I've been trying these out. Um, and you know they're okay they do the job i mean bluetooth functionality on these headphones these all these sort of bluetooth headsets these days i'm finding that uh, with the latest uh, chipsets the connection is basically immediate um, yeah I, I have absolutely no problem with that there also must be some sort of backward compatibility built into them which they never used to be it's strange really because with the apple stuff you um you can't use like hand off and stuff like that because you need the, the low energy on your uh, older Macs, which is what I've got. Um, yet you can take something like this and it does connect to my Mac immediately upon command. Um, so I'm not quite sure what the uh, the deal is with that, but uh, anyway. So looking further into the box, we'll just lift this portion out and you can see you get your instructions. That's just one of the bags there that some of the parts come in because I've actually uh, opened some of the parts up. You get um, micro USB charging to standard USB, so that's what you charge it up with. Charging, interestingly enough, on such a small set of uh, earphones is actually uh, two hours. You just would have thought sometimes on some of these smaller things that uh, it'd be a little bit quicker than that, but uh, you know, two hours. You know, it's, it's sort of what you expect for them, I suppose. Um, now, they were originally in a different bag, so you get another two sets of earplugs in there, you know, the uh, just the, the ear tips, which uh, are very soft, by the way. Uh, I'm quite impressed with the ear tips, they're extremely soft and uh, delicate silicon there. Uh, absolutely no problems with them at all, comfort wise. And then we move on to these, these black silicon bits here. Now these are what uh, help create the, the sweat proofing basically for um, when you're uh, using them in sports. And they are sort of uh, left and right sort of uh, orientated. So this is the left um, speaker and what have you here. And if you look on here, that one is also the left. And that is because they've got little nubs on them that line up with the, the function buttons and things like that. So this one here is your up and down volume. And um, if we just pop that over there, you can see how they go on. And it's pretty straightforward. You know, they just sit on like that and that just helps with the sweat proofing. Um, and then on this side here, you've also got uh, your track skip um, forward and backwards there. And then you've got what they call the multifunction button. Now that is actually what they use for turning it on and um, also pairing and it's also uh, I think it's the double tap for your yeah it is it's the double tap for your um, calls as well and of course you put that on now this is the one you can see it's got the little nub put in there it's probably very difficult to see but there is like a little nub on the uh, rubber there that has actually been giving me some problems when this rubber suits on I'm finding it a bit of a struggle to actually press and hold the button to um, turn it on, things like that. If you turn on and release, it uh, immediately connects to whatever it was last connected to. Whereas you press and hold for a few seconds 
and it goes to the, uh, the search function so that uh, it can be located and connected to other devices. Absolutely no problems with that whatsoever. Um, my only, I suppose, they're a bit on the tinny side, but these are only $30. I haven't managed to find them in any uh, UK stores or anything like that. So basically, I think the only ones that are going to benefit here would be uh, Amazon US. So, the, the, like I say, the sound is tinny, but for $30, which English money, that's what, about, uh, it's not even 20 quid, is it? It's about uh, 19 and a half quid, something like that. So they're not expensive, uh, not by any means. But, uh, you know, <laughs> they do the job. They are budget set, you know, they, they, they weigh next to nothing. They've got the um, easy charge, you know, there's no messing about, you know, it's literally just a case of uh, you pull that off there and that's it, you're straight into your charging port, you know. You can use it without them, you know, they don't need to be on. Um, my ear canals are quite narrow, so these don't fit perfectly, but also what doesn't help there is the fact that this band, I'm, I've actually got quite a large head, and this band doesn't really go all the way around the back. So that, that there would be your right ear. That one there, that one there is the left ear and this goes around the back of the head and these are supposed to come over the ear and uh, you know and I'm just finding it doesn't quite reach over the ear here uh, so you know that's just down to my head size being a bit too big so they're obviously more suited to the smaller head but uh, on the whole you know I, I would say they're worth their money you know uh, you get uh, you get a, a lot of uh, usage out of them for that two, or two hours of charging you know you can listen to about six hours of music and um, talk time about eight hours and uh, it, it says about 200 hours of standby time, which I haven't truly tested, but I'd see no reason to disbelieve that, to be honest. Not on something as small as this. Um, using it for calls, it's, it's all just sort of mediocre, you know. It's, it's what you'd expect for the money. So there you go, guys. A nice set of uh, earphones for you. They also come in white. Now, they don't really seem to have a name. So what you're looking for is the SH03D and that one is, if you, if you look online, there would be a dash after that and for that one it would be BL and for the white one that you can see on here, it would be WH and that's how you find them. So let me know what you think of these sort of things guys, you know, would you buy them? I mean, you know, I think they're okay for just kicking about in, you know, if you don't want to lose anything expensive, so yeah. Let me know what you think underneath anyway, guys, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. See you.